Okay, so let me ask, <laughs> me ask you this, to this. Um, if, if I'm already in the fund, I'm in Carolina uh, Capital Reserve Fund, can thank, I take my you, money? Thank you for being in it. No. And then can I take my money the and only, switch it to this new one? The, the, the only people that are going to be able to redeem money and put it into that fund are people that have already on the list to redeem their money. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Otherwise, it's it's supposed to be for additional funds. Yeah. Come up with some new stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, yeah. And, and these are small offerings. So, you're, you're probably going to be limited with... 10, 12 people. That's a great question. I was going right. to ask that question. How many people will I be sharing at a hundred thousand a piece? How many people be in this fund? Uh, we're going to have a max of a max of probably 30 people max, but I don't think it'll be that many. Um, I think, you know, typically for something like this, we'll be somewhere between that 15 and 20. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know, you know, there are the spots, um, you know, hundreds, the, the minimum, um, the maximum is actually uh, one million, so you um, you can't put more than a million in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not that everyone, everyone would, but some people that have been asked that question. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we you know to control everything, we can't have too much allocated to one person. One, right. Yeah. So the, the reason we wanted to talk about this particular particular launch and launches like it is because this gives, uh, like we were saying earlier, this gives people. Uh, Excellent opportunity to diversify mm -hmm. geog geographically, number right, one. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then, I mean, there are syndication offering offerings where uh, equity involved. And in, in those cases, when there's equity involved and you're getting a piece of the upside, it's always going to depend on whether there's upside or not. Yeah. But when you're, when you're on in a debt offering, what you're getting is guaranteed. Yeah. So yeah. if there is no upside... It doesn't matter. The managers like us and the sponsor are the ones that are going to be we, taking the hit. We That's eat right. that. Yeah. You, guys, you guys are guaranteed. <laughs> we don't like that. Yeah. The, the way the water, way the water folks is uh, if there's a senior, if there's senior debt on that, which would just be like the primary lender, which would be a bank or maybe a CMBS lender of some sort, uh, they would be paid off first. Then next in line is all the, inv the investors into this syndication and their, their principal then the next piece is all their interest, if, anyth if anything's due. Then the next piece is us. And then the next piece is the sponsor. So, so we and the sponsor At don't, the make, the don't make any money until everybody else has been paid off yeah. in full. So, so let's talk about the paperwork that goes along with that, the private placement memorandum that's mm -hmm. drawn up. So, so how in-depth is that? Who, draw, who draws it up? Um, you know, what, what kind of time is put into something like that as opposed to a long-term evergreen fund like our Carolina Capital it's actually Reserve Fund? actually quite similar. Yeah, it's the same thing, it's, basically. Mm -hmm. It's just the terms are a little, are a little bit different. Terms, so you have a, a PPM, that, PPM that basically, you know, outlines that, th like, this is a debt offering and here are all the things that could go wrong um, because this is, you know, an investment in real estate. You are a, sophi a sophisticated investor. And, you know, things have gone wrong before. We don't anticipate that, but, you know, we have to disclaim that. Right. Um, and then the next piece would be we have a subscription booklet where you would fill that out, out um, for whether it was your self-directed IRA or 401k or cash. Uh, and then there's one more. Do we have an intercreditor agreement on this one? Um, I can't remember if there's an intercreditor agreement. No. What does that mean? Well, since you're lending debt... Um, you become quote unquote a creditor and there's already a, a creditor as well. So there's an intercreditor agreement that yeah. the two work together on this project. The first lien holder collects his money for money first. The other creditor agrees to take their money second. Awesome. Yeah, that, that's spilled out in the subscription agreement. Okay. So is, is a fund like this audited just like our Carolina Capital Reserve Fund is? No. So how does it work? What do you mean? So closed in fund, um, and there is a pref that's paid quarterly with a pref meaning a preferred rate of return. Thank you. Um, and we need to speak English. <laughs> there's a there's a kicker at the end. The end. There's no reason for an audit because there's no equity at play. It is just a straight simple interest going along the life of the loan. And, awesome. And also. Uh, uh, the SEC rules require uh, a 
506 fund to be audited at 10 million. Mm -hmm. or, and this is or, below or actually 12 million. Or, and we're only talking like three, 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 three million, two. three point mm -hmm. ten. That was the, my next question is what is the total capital? The total right? capital? And, and we're running this the same way we uh, run the other fund. We have a third party administrator. We'll have the onboarding website just like we do. We do with our uh, regular fund. So there'll be plenty of eyes on it. Yeah. And it's, you can go to our website, carolinahardmoney.com and find out information on this, right? Not yet. I said, we're launching it. Um, use our emails, uh, bill at Carolina, Carolina Hardcom or Jonathan at Carolina uh, to uh, inquire if you're interested and then we'll get you, uh, we, we have all the documents, the slide decks and all that, but we don't have it loaded up on the site as of yet. Yet. When we plan I, within, the next, with, within the next, well, it won't be within the next week. I'm going to be gone all next week. Okay. But, um, we'll, we'll set up a, a webinar and we can go over, um, mm -hmm. The project in a couple weeks. I just awesome. wanted to give you guys notice that this is coming up, and if you have any interest, yeah, uh, it will it will go on until it's full, and since it's only three point two, uh, it will get full pretty pretty quick. Yeah, anticipate it being too <laughs> too long. Uh, and then our next one will be we'll probably do the next raise in January on uh, the senior living facility. That one's exciting too. That one's really exciting. Um, that is a much smaller capital raise. raise. Um, however, the structure is a lot different and it's... Yeah, this is a development. This ground is going to be construction. ground up construction. So there'll be a period of time where there is no cash flow because what, what, where would it come There's from? There's no income. There's yeah. no income. Yeah, yeah. But once the income does come in, it, it accelerates quickly and uh, it is... Because of the the lockup period, it was longer, five years plus the no income for about a year. A year, the return on that is much much higher than the multifamily that right. gives you immediate returns. Right. So, so this would be a raise that uh, you're not looking for income straight away. You're looking in. For, it's a growth. For yeah. a growth. It's and, a, so and the, just to give you an idea, the senior debt on this thing is a HUD loan. So yeah. correct. Uh, a lot of scrutiny when there's a, a HUD loan involved. It has been underwritten by HUD. We are at, at the 90% mark on the HUD underwriting. Uh, once you get past, you know, 75%, you're, it, it's pretty much a done deal. Pretty much a done deal. I mean, there's not many that fall out after that mark. Most of them fall out before. So this is a great, 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 great sponsor, great experience. Um, Again, you have can to Can I say a like a general, because I, I, I don't know. Can I say like, well, let's. If you're in a, if you're in a, you're in a credit you something. can ask it? us for informa information, <laughs> and we can give it to you individually. It's, it's good. Yeah, you can. What you give out of one hand, you can get back in two. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Okay. Secret code. The disclaimer. <laughs> the disclaimer. Um, Your mileage may vary. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nothing is guaranteed. Investing in any real estate deal is risky. Uh, you must uh, employ your financial <laughs> advisor and it's your tax scruples. planner. Yeah. It's your scruples. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. exactly. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> it's, Did it scare you? We'll, 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 have all the, nervous there. <laughs> we'll have all the documentation necessary when the time comes. Yes, correct. But, but this is, listen, this is very exciting for us and I hope for you guys mm -hmm. uh, going forward. There's, uh, again, the, the, pl the plane hanged mm -hmm. or the landscape. Yeah. On the plane. Yes. Yeah. yes. And, and on the. Uh, and the, some exciting stuff coming up. On the senior living I I personally sit on those calls every week with the with the development, uh, the engineering, the arcing, the architect, buddy, and I've done that for the last four months. Yeah, you've been uh, working hard on so, it. So you know, it is progressing very well. We anticipate that one's ready to roll probably February, and we'll probably start probably start the cast in, in uh, January. Awesome! Yeah. Yay.